Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're looking at one of my uh, more favorite standard decks right now, Metagross Sobaleo, a pretty underrated deck, um, and uh, you know, I just had to make a video on this because I really do like this deck, also I just wanted to make a video because I've been working on this long essay, it's taking me like well over two hours and it's just too much and too like stressed out, and so I gotta ease some of that tension and play some PDCGO. So, this is a very, very powerful and pretty underrated deck, in all honesty. This is one of the more underrated decks in Standard right now. You know, a lot of Metagross builds are using Metacross with Necrozma, but Metagross Sobaleo has a lot of promise. Now, it does have a few outstanding issues. The big one is that you're relying on multiple Stage 2s, which does mean that you're very, very weak to Espeon EX. Now, you could run Megirna, to counter Espeon, um, which is obviously a good option to have Megirna in here. You can also kind of, I guess Megirna, oh, yeah, I guess Megirna is the only good option. So if you want to run Megirna, it's up to you. I've kind of built this deck to kind of cover even your worst matchup, which is probably going to be Volcanian. Let's be real here, Volcanian will easily one-shot you. So there's some things there. So we'll take a look at this list. And uh, what kind of went through my thought process making it. So I went with two to Sogaleo. Sogaleo is a great attacker. Um, it's one of the most underrated GXs in the format. Sogaleo Rayquaza is actually a pretty good deck right now. So Sogaleo has the ability Ultra Road. Once you're in turn for you attack, you may switch this with one of your, you switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Basically, built in switch is an ability. Its main bread and butter, though, are the ability, I mean, yeah, the GX attack and the uh, main attack. So the GX deck is insane, arguably one of the best GX decks in the game. For one metal energy, you search your deck for up to five energies, and that's any energy. So like you could run like double dragons and DCEs, and you could still grab those, which is nuts. Um, and touching your Pokemon anyway, like, I mean, this GX deck is bonkers. It's really, really good. Um, though it has a really strong GX deck, it's never really been able to make it like to the top tier tables, which is kind of weird. Um, but then it has this really good attack, Sunseal Strike. For 3 energies, you do 230 damage, discard all energy from this Pokemon. Very powerful. 230 is a great number to hit. Not only that, it, with a Choice Band, literally one-shots anything in the format. Now, it is a Metal type, so you don't even have to worry about that 230 damage on Gardevoir, because you already one-shot him. Something funny to note, but Sogaleo can just take easy one-shots. And, um, we've seen it partnered with Rayquaza from Guardians Rising, but we're going to do it with Metagross today. Metagross has the ability Geotech System. Once you're in turn before you attack, you may attach a Psychic or a Metal Energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. So with this, we're going to be able to just build up our Sogaleo. And if we have three or two Metagross in place, we can easily build up a Meta uh, another Sogaleo right off the bat. So we can Sunseal Strike every single turn, which Rayquaza Sogaleo can't pull that off. You have to wait a turn. But Metagross Sogaleo gets to do that because with Geotech System, you're going to be able to possibly build up a Sogaleo in one turn. Metagross is a good attacker. Giga Hammer can do 150. With a Choice Band, you get to do 180. You can hit magic numbers on Bulu and Lele and stuff like that. You have Algorithm GX, another pretty powerful GX attack. Um, kind of weak because it's you know easy to end your opponent out of that. Algorithm is still good though, nonetheless. I still really like this GX attack. Um, you're probably going to use Soul Burst more, but Algorithm is also good. You can With Algorithm, you can probably just set up your board, so you have options between Algorithm and Soul Burst. Soul Burst is a safer play because if your Algorithm and your opponent ends you, you know, it's kind of ripping the chat. So uh, those are our main attackers, just Metagross and Sogaleo. And I went with a 2-1-2 Sogaleo line, a 4-2-4 Metagross line. I still want to run a few of these just in case we do play against Espeon. You can still beat the Espeon spread matchups pretty, pretty nice, I think. Um, but just having extra, like, Cosmo M's and Matangs help you out. We do play our two Lelys with Wonder Tag, and I went with one Vulpix. Vulpix is really good to be able to set up your board a little quicker. Um, if you're super crazy, you could run, like, one Nine Tails just in case you're that scared of Volcanion. Um, if you're, like, crazy. Uh, ideally, you want to just go turn two Soul or, like, turn two Metagross, something like that. So, Vulpix can be a nice starting Pokemon. Some other tech options you could add. Again, I'm considering, you know, putting Megirna in this deck. Mystic Heart's really good um, to have. You can also run, I don't know, like, Cobalion if you're crazy. Um, you can maybe run Necrozma. You can probably fit in, like, one or two Psychic Energies, run, like, a Necrozma. If you want to have that extra coverage, it, you know, helps your Metagross match up a little bit more, because you can Prismatic Burst through Metagross. You can also knock out Espeon pretty easy. I don't know, it's up to you. Um... 
if you value black ray more but this is more of a sogaleo kind of a deck so i don't know you can also run baby sogaleo too from guardians rising that would be another cool tech option but at that point i think you'd have to run like a 313 line and that gets too clunky that's way too many stage twos i think when the new sogaleo comes out this deck archetype will kind of go down because that new sogaleo is bonkers with sogaleo already so yeah let's go on to the items we got two field blowers this deck is very heavily reliant on abilities um one heavy ball metagross Cosmoem and Sogaleo all have bigger treats. I think Matang too, yeah, so Matang can go there. We got two max potions. After Sunsteel Striking, you have no energy on Sogaleo, has 250 HP. Your board's not going to one-shot it, so you can just fully heal it. You can also do this with Metagross with the whole, like, retreat strategy. Four candies, just straight go into our Pokemon. One Rescue Stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back. Four Ultra Balls to be able to grab what we need. Now, to counter Volk, I've gone with Altar of the Sun. Now, it's not the best counter, but... Some Volk decks don't really play that many stadiums. Scorched Earth is like okay, but not many Volks might play it. Brooklyn Hill is considered, but if you're playing against more of a ho oh Terminator build, they're not going to play Brooklyn Hill. So you can probably just get away with Altar of the Sun to stay in play. And at that point, those ho oh decks cannot one-shot you unless they do like quad steam up with ho oh Choice Band to knock out Metagross. But at that point, that's still a good thing for your opponent to have to do. So I don't know. I think Altar of the Sun will be our tried out tech. Also, it's a counter stadium can be very important in some matchups where we need to get rid of their stadium two bridgets bridget turn one is amazing we need to have two of these i feel like uh three guzmas to be able to bring stuff up i'm considering two guzmas but when playtesting this deck i was like okay these three guzmas need to stay like this. it's too important we are going to play one hollow this is an amazing card and hollow might gain more value with this deck you could probably get away with two um except when you start with it it's not really good because you're only drawn four but again soul burst can happen very early on in the game and hollow can be great um, three ends for draw support. I think it bounces out because we have Bridget, we have Hala. We got four Sycamores for draw support. Sycamore is great when you want to get medals in the discard for Metagross. Two choice bands. I'm still alone with two. Sometimes Sunshield Strike needs to knock out Metagross, other Sogaleos, Deciduize, and Lunalas. So we're going with that extra choice band. Also, it lets you do extra damage with Giga Hammer. We got with 10 metal energies. I think a 9 could be a little bit better than 10, but I feel like 10 to be the magic number. Because there are going to be moments where you, t you only have double Metagross to follow up with a second Sunsteel Strike, and you need an energy in your hand to do that. 10 metals, better energy odds. I like having the 10 metals, okay? This is my Metagross Sogaleo list. One of my favorite decks to play right now, and it's a really good deck. Easy to beat Gardevoir, basically an auto win, unless like you get a really bad start. So yeah, let's go find some games with this deck. See you next on PC Joe, and... Show you guys why I like Metagross Sokaleo and why it is a very, very underrated deck at the moment. Now, one of the reasons why I want to make this video is because I actually have some daily challenges to do with metal. Um, just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, so let's go get some matches here. I think it's Metagross Sokaleo, so we gotta go over to the M's. And uh, let's get some games in. I'll show you guys why I really like this deck. Again, it's not a win, it's Gardevoir. You do have a good guard matchup, and it looks like our first game is against Gardevoir. Which is pretty perfect, actually. So, right off the bat, we got our best matchup, which is awesome. Perfecto. And, uh, we do win the coin flip even better. If we can... Honestly, I think Metagross could run the show. Uh, pardon me. Metagross can probably run the show here. So. Okay. The Lele start is a little unfortunate. Because it could have gotten up to turn Bridget, it looks like. Hopefully, our other Lele, if our other Lele is prized, this could be bad. I think I can afford to get rid of these two choice bands. I doubt I'll need them in guard. Of, I, we're not going to need them. I don't think we will. Hopefully Lele's not prized. And I could grab Bridget. Which I'm kind of tempted to. Just because we already have Matang and Cosmo in. But we're going to probably just go for Professor Sycamore. I like the Bridget play. Because we can also grab Vulpix I guess too. But hmm. I don't know. We, uh, I don't know if it's safer to go full picks. I think it's better just to Sycamore here. We already have our Stretcher. Sucks we lost our two choice fans. I don't think we'll need them though. I'm actually going to attach to the Lele in case we do need to go into full picks. I'm going to play Heavy Ball, not to grab anything, but uh, just, just, just might as well play it. I don't know. Anyways, let's go Sycamore. I think we had all our Metagross Sogaleo. And uh, let's see what we can find. Wow, we did not find a single. Wow, okay, no Cosmogs or Beldum. That's a little unfortunate. We do have Bridget for next turn. So I guess we'll have to pass. That kind of sucks. That does set us back a turn. Not too good. Worst case scenario, my opponent gets some early game Bridget, uh, Guzma's off. 
We have to hope that they have a bit of a slow start too with their guard war setup. So I am kind of worried about Guzma. Okay, it's a Sylveon build. That's kind of bad. Sylveon is a big counter to this archetype because of Plea, but he got no energy down, which is good. We just dropped like a Metagross, which is pretty good. So double Beldum with a Cosmog, I guess. We have to watch out for for easy here. And we'll pass. Next turn, we're going to knock him out. I kind of want to draw a Guzma, though, so I can take out Eevee. Like, Sylveon is a huge problem. Or even just draw an end, because he might go Plea next turn. Or, no, Magical Ribbon. Plea is very scary. Plea is what makes Gardevoir have a pretty good time against you. I was hoping it was going to be, like, just an artillery build. Uh, but the Sylveon build is kind of scary. Like, Sylveon's Plea GX ruins your day. So we have to be careful here. Oh, it looks like he did get Gardevoir. Shoot. Oh, it's on the bench. Please don't have an energy in a Guzma. Please don't grab Guzma and knock him my Beldum. Okay, good. I was scared he was gonna Guzma my Beldum, knock it out. I could still get Metagross down, but that's kinda sucked. Now I wanna grab a Guzma so I can knock out Guardi here. I don't, I mean, he can find a Float Stone and maybe knock out Lately. He's gonna need a few cards though to do that. Which I don't mind, because I'm gonna just straight up going to Metagross and knock him out. Nope, doesn't have anything. Okay. Another Sycamore. Well, that's just great. <laughs> okay, not what I'm looking for right now. I think we can go... I think I'm going to spread out the energy because we're not going to knock him out here, right? Like, I don't see a point in taking the prize. So I'm actually going to Sycamore because I don't think we're going to knock him out here. Another Cosmox, pretty nice. We do have our Guzma for next turn, which is good. Oh, we're not going to knock him out because I didn't put the energy on Metagross. <sighs> no, I kind of regret that. Is there any way around this? We'd have to treat into Metagross here and take a hit. I don't want to do that. Dang it, I wish I had an energy in my hand. One's in the discard. We guess we got to be hopeful that we top that one. Is there anything I can retreat into right now? I could core beam him for 40. Or I can hit him. Either way, I can do 40 of this Rels with Energy Drive or Core Beam. I think I just pass for next turn. I don't... Mm, I wish I didn't attach that belt. I just wanted to spread out my energy, though. Um, just in case. Alright, Sylveon's coming down. This is a huge problem. Might even just target the Sylveon first, in all honesty. I just That thing is going to be a huge problem with that Plea GX. Like, please horrifying it looks like he's setting himself up too if we get top deck of metal energy i'm straight up just gonna knock out sylveon and just pray guard of order to knock me out of return all right he gets rid of a guzma that's actually a good card to see get discarded he got he's got three guardies but as long as we can set ourselves up too i really wish i didn't attach that beldum now i really regret that his bench is full he doesn't have room for artillery or even a Gallade, which is nice. They're in the discard, but it's still kind of nice. Kind of slows him down. Even before he get, he's going to get triple Gardevoir, I bet. Probably going to go Magical Ribbon here. Which is fine. Nope. Okay, can we top deck an energy? We do. Oh my goodness. Alright. We already have an energy in the discard pile, right? Okay, we're good. We can just use my... I'm gonna just take out the Sylveon. Like, I do not want to see that Sylveon in play. I mean, we could get knocked out by Gardevoir. I'm willing to take my chances, though. We have another Metagross for next turn. I'm actually... I'm not gonna do Ultra Ball, obviously, quite yet. Until we take him out. So we are gonna Giga Hammer him for the KO. Get rid of the Sylveon. Get rid of that Plea GX threat. And let's take our two prizes. And hope that Gardevoir doesn't knock me out. Another Guzma, another Energy. Energy's pretty good, actually, because we can follow up with another Metagross knockout next turn, which is huge. I gotta hope he doesn't knock me out. We got 250 HP, we got 3 Energies on us, so that is an easy 90 damage for him. 120, 150, so he's doing 150 right now. Let's see if he can do any more damage. Grab something with Eevee. We, I don't think he can Secret Spring into Sylveon, actually, I think he can, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, no, he's just going straight. He's gonna end me to four. I was kind of worried he was gonna do that. 
We're kind of low on Sycamores. We haven't even done Holly yet. Or GX Tax. That could be bad. Alright, we still got a Metagross. We just didn't get... We need... Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna get knocked out here. Is he actually gonna knock me out? That is so fair and balanced. Oh, my God. How much are we doing with this Lele? Probably not enough. That is so stupid, though. The fact that this game just let him do that is ridiculous. Um, I could algorithm here, which might be the safest play. Maybe I should have stuck out that guard war. How much are we doing? 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 120. Why am I doing 180? That's just bonkers. We can't even take him out. Please don't have a Guzma. <laughs> I am real- okay. Holy Zane, yo! Okay. Okay. That changes everything. Um, still kind of scared that I might have to go into like a Sobaleo. Which, I don't think we could- we could Soul Burst, but it's not gonna help our case. We did not find an energy. And we have four in the discard one, so we have five in the, in the deck and we didn't find one. We do need one. I do need to end him here, too. Man, this is, oh, this is so ridiculous, dude. Gardevoir is so unfair. Like, I hate to complain, but it's let's be real here. This card is completely broken and probably should not have been printed. Alright. We're gonna get knocked out. I think I'm gonna go here. We're gonna get a Soboleo down, so we have Ultra Road. Alright, nice. We do get the knockout. Very clutch. Now I need to hope I can get some other prizes. Only problem is we might get knocked down to turn. I really wish we could end it. We're not drawn too well with our supporters, so we might have a few prizes. Please, can we get some off our prizes? Two, let's see what we get. An energy and an end. Alright, we got an end, which is not bad. Uh, how many candies do we have left? Two. Hopefully we can find a candy next turn to go into a second Metagross. Please don't knock me out again. It's gonna end me to two, cause that's fine. It's going to three, so maybe we survive somehow. Let's use quite a few energies. Okay, we got him a tang, so we can follow up with the Metagross very soon. We obviously can't attack him. Oh no, we can. Yeah, no, 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 we got him. Wow, I live with 10 HP. Yikes. Oh, we can just draw Guzma. That works too. We'll just knock out the Sylveon and wrap up the game. That was kind of close. I was not expecting to win that, in all honesty. I think the fact that he ended me when I only had that one rare candy in my hand was kind of what gave me the advantage. But we're going to giga hammer him and take him out. Apologies for the little salt, but let's be real. The, the, that Gardevoir just shouldn't have happened with the whole crazy play where he knocked out Metagross. That is just a tad bit ridiculously overpowered. Just a tad. Just a little bit. Um, but that was a pretty good match, and you can see why this deck has an easy time against Gardevoir. Even though that was not an easy time. I wouldn't call that an easy time. I would have called that a pretty bad time. We bear, we won by the skin of our teeth. We literally lived with 10 HP. That was a pretty cool match. Pretty nuts. Um, we'll get another game with it. Alright, let's get two... Another game with our deck. And yeah, you see that, right? The win streak is zero. Don't want to talk about it. Let's get another game. We showed out the Guardi matchup, which is good. Um, so, I wouldn't mind if we didn't find another Guardi game. Looks like we're against Snoodle Fairy playing a Fighting Colors deck. Could be Lycanroc. It could also be a Machamp deck, Zygarde, Passimian. I don't know. There's a lot of fighting types right now. It might, it's probably a Lycanroc deck. <laughs> Pardon me. Gonna get a Beldum Star. No turn one Bridget signs. That's what three games in a row. Plus that game that I didn't show you guys where I ended up losing. I only lost because two solos were prized. I had a huge hand and get turn one Bridget, and my opponent just wrecked me. Oh, it is a champ. Okay, that's interesting. Bridget, bruh, are you serious? And before we lose next turn, all right, let's go and see if we can get. Okay, yeah, now you come, Bridget. Thanks. Alright, well, I see how it is, Bridget. I think I'm just gonna do this, and... 
Wait, Core Beam him? I mean, I could get Rare Candy Metagross, but if he's playing Machamp, I don't think that matters. That 20 damage is relevant, because then we can... Yeah, let's actually do that, because then we can knock him out with Sunsteel Strike without the Choice Ban. So that's actually kind of nice. I'm actually... Yeah, I am, I'm going to do that. This way, Sunsteel Strike one-shots him, if he has Machamp. And before Big Masalda. That would be a pretty embarrassing. Hopefully our Belden will go down this turn. No, it is, Dynia. How we lost 50 damage? Yo, what? Yo, when did this thing do so much damage? Yo, are you serious? Bro, am I actually about to get steamrolled by a Machop? Okay, he's going to Machoke. I think we could actually survive here if he gets Tails. Yeah, if he gets Tails, we actually live. Please get Tails. Yes, okay. Whew, that was kind of close. I'm not gonna lie. I'm tempted to bridge it. But I don't know. Like, I could do bridge it, but I think it's fine just to go for the, uh, the Sycamore play here. Maybe I should retreat a Volpix, but I'm gonna risk and go for the Rare Candy play, and we did not hit it. Rip, we're gonna lose a Matang now. Should have went into Volpix. Should have. Rip me. I think I'm just gonna then go for a Ultra Ball and grab another Beldum then. Just to be ready. And maybe we can just end him next turn. I don't know. We'll grab two Beldums because I know Matang's going down. I'm sorry, Matang, I had to do this to you, buddy, but I was hoping the Rare Candy Sogaleo would have showed up. That rip. It's fine, though. It's fine. Got two Beldums in play. My opponent says Sad Face. I don't know if he has anything. I mean, we're not guaranteed to win next turn unless we can get doubles, Metagross, or... I don't know. I'm gonna bring out Vulpix because we can Ultra Road. Uh, do we put the Lele down and go for a N? I don't think we do. He doesn't have anything. I could have lele but everything in the deck I kind of want to keep, even that Bridget. Alright, we got some invisible cards. I cannot tell what they are. Is that a rare candy? I do not know. Okay, we got a stadium. We do find Sokoleo, so we can do Sober Cistern. Um, meme worthy. I really wish that Heavy Ball would have been for another thing. I could Heavy Ball for Metagross. I think I'm actually going to do that. Cause, no, I'm going to keep it because we're going to haul in next turn. So we are going to do Soul Burst here. We'll get one energy and two on the active. We'll put one on the Matang. The reason I'm spreading out the energy, um, I don't want to grab all the energy in my deck. Because again, if we're in that situation where we have double Metagross in play, I want to be sure that I have an energy in my hand to follow up with another Sunsteel Strike. So that's why I'm not grabbing all the energy out of my deck. Two are in the discard. All right, so this is fine. He gets an Aranger, so my opponent is going to live the turn. Does he get a Machamp, though? He's going to switch. Okay, that's kind of clever. Maybe we just take him out with Metagross, and I think we do that. Scorched Earth. Like, I, I want my opponent to actually not lose so early on. I, you know, I'm feeling it this match. I don't want my opponent to abruptly just lose. Just Sycamore. Okay, so we take him out Metagross here. Keep the Sobaleo for when we need to one-shot that Machamp. And to do Hollow. See if we can find another rare candy Metagross. Alright, nice. Good thing I kept that heavy ball. See if I did do the heavy ball last turn, this play would not have been possible. We can also stretch her back some pokes, which is nice. Just think we will do that. I'm tempted to Ultra Ball too, though I might want the max potion, but I might not. I think, I mean, we're not really in any rush right now. I think it's okay not to do Ultra Ball. We can do it next turn. If, like, we're probably not going to need these, even if he does counter the stadium with another Scorched Earth. So I think it's fine just to wait on this hand. I don't want to lose that max potion. We might need it. You never know. He might end me to five. All right, let's see what we can find here. We get another energy. That is perfect. And uh, we're looking pretty good right now. My opponent needs to find, like, a Machamp and everything. I kind of feel bad. I really do feel bad because I, I wanted this game to actually like play out a little bit more i wanted to see if we could get one shot of salt but no he can see rip dang it mate that would have been such a fun game it's fine though i think if he took out the beldum with that machop the turn before that would have been a really cool that might have helped him out a bit at least we get some of our daily devos done need those coins for uh crimson invasion which is dropping in like what like a week from now?
two weeks from now? I, I don't even know. But the time of recording, it, it's a Friday night. So I don't know. I think it's next, literally next Friday. So yeah, next Friday is Crimson Invasion. I need to pre-order these codes. I gotta wait for, I gotta wait for like Darius Pokemon. I, look, here's the thing, right? I try when I pre-order the Burning Showers codes, they took forever to come in the mail because I'm from Canada. So I was kind of salty about that. So we already have Bridget. So I'm tempted to open with Lele here, but I'm gonna open up with Beldum. Just in case we might want a Lele for some more. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should have opened with Lele, but whatever. But yeah, so that's why I'm trying to pre-order my coat with Lycanroc uh, Zor. It's actually a bit of a weird matchup. But I wanted to pre-order the codes, and I pre-ordered them. They just took forever, and they came like about like maybe like a week or so after Burning Shadows was released. So I gotta pre-order them off of Darium's Pokemon because they email them to you. And that's the quickest way I can get the codes instead of waiting like four weeks to get them in Canada. I mean, I could do eBay, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. You get my point. Alright, so we're going to see a Lele for a really cool Invisible card. Invisible card confirmed best card in the metagame right now. It is indeed a Bridget. This matchup's kind of interesting, especially with Dangerous Road. Can we get an energy? Nope. Looks like we are going to lose our Beldum next turn. If we can top deck a rare candy, this would be a pretty good hand. A float stone, okay. Oh, my Jacks will work. That's going to be something we want to knock out with Metagross. Metagross takes out the non-EXs. Sogaleo takes out the EXs and GXs. And N, okay, that's a little weird because we have the Cosmo, but maybe this gives us the Sogaleo. I just got to watch out what I put on my bench in case of uh, Danger Shrug. Nope. And he gets a DC, knocked me out. Lovely. Paula, good to see you. Alright, I guess we have to Ultra Ball for Beldum number two. We end him to five. Try and find something good. Okay, we found a rare candy Metagross, which is nice. We also have rare candy Solaleo. I think I'm gonna do this turn. The only problem is we're not gonna have much of a hand after this, but even though I don't want to Lele here, because I'll walk into a dangerous rope knockout. So I need to find Stretch to get those guys back. But we are able to go for an Ultra Road. The only problem is I don't want to Sunsteal Strike him here. So I might spread out some energy. I go two here. Two on the active, two on the bend. Like, I just don't want to... I'm not going to Sunsteal Strike him. kind of wish I didn't get rid of that Guzma, but I didn't want to get rid of two Metagrosses. That would not have been nice. We could see a Bloodthirsty Eyes, though, on this Beldum. Set me back. A bit, that would be bad, but then we get energy in the discard. We need to find that stretcher. I just gotta hope he doesn't get a bloodthirsty eyes off. It is possible. I'm letting it build up more energy too, which is not good. We're gonna see a DC go on to that rock rough. Just a mind jack for 100. Yeah, he's kind of puts me in range of being KO'd. A Bridget, that's like the last thing I wanted to see. Still in range of Bloodthirsty Eyes here. I think we have to go for it. Hope he doesn't knock me out or something. I think we have to grab a Lele. I really don't want to put more Pokemon on my bench, but I've already taken 100 damage, so it's like whatever. If he knocks out my Sogaleo, this could get ugly. Unless we top deck a candy and get Metagross going, but Metagross can't one shot him. Alright, good. I could Lele for Guzma actually and knock this out. We can knock him out with Core Beam. But nah, I don't want to lose my. Dang it, dude! <sighs> this is 
so annoying. Like, I want to knock him out with Core Beam, but... Or my Matang, but I don't want to lose my Matang to this stupid thing. <sighs> right, I think we just knock him out. The next turn, hope for the best. Supporter would be good. Okay, an energy, that's not bad either. Maybe we can double Metagross him soon. Hopefully we don't get knocked out. I'm scared of a knockout on my Matang here. He just needs to find a Lycan Rock. Okay, it's another Mind Jack one. There's Octillery. Octillery is kind of scary. Please do not find Lycan Rock. Special charge for one energy. That's not bad. I'm kind of scared if he finds a Lycanroc GX here. Stretcher too. Shuffling those back, I guess. I guess that decreases the- Oh no, he's getting back Zorua. He's doing 150, so we're going to get KO'd if he finds Lycanroc here. Or he could pull up Thirsty Eyes from Matang. If he doesn't find it, this is huge. He's going to find it though, because he hasn't- He's probably going to find it. He's only played one Ultra Ball. Looks like Soleo or our Matang is going to go down here. Yep, there it is. Dang it. An N and a Sycamore. Okay, he's lost a few draw support, though he already has Octillery in play, plus he has Trade. Okay, let's see what he does here. I think he's going to knock out my, my, my belt, or my, my, uh, my Matang. No, he's not. Okay. We already stretchered, right? Okay, we didn't. We need to find it, though. Alright, we can at least damage him with Metagross, so I don't know how much it matters at this point. We just gotta be careful of Dangerous Road. Can't even end with two. I think we have to just sick more. Okay, we got another Metagross, though I'd rather have Sogaleo in this situation. We just haven't found our Rescue Stretcher, though. I just wish we could find it. Guess we have to do the double Metagross thing next turn. We lost one of our max potions, though, which kind of sucks. So we're doing 150. I'm kind of scared of an Ace Rolla, though. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about here is the Ace Rolla. This is a Lycanroc. So we play two ends. We definitely need to find our Resty Stretcher to get back some of Pokemon. We use two candies, one Guzma. Interesting. Hmm. I'm surprised he's just going for the Mind Jack approach. I mean, he's not really going for his approach of trying to do. Um, trade here, which is kind of interesting. He might even retreat into Tapu Lele. Can we lose this turn to a Bloodthirsty Eyes Dangerous Rogue? I don't think we can. We gotta watch out for that. Hmm. I could do Guzma and knock out this Lycanroc, but I don't know if that matters. I really don't want to bench this Lele because then I'm in range of a dangerous rogue KO and win the game on my opponent's end. A choice ban would be a really nice top deck here, or just a supporter in general. We haven't played that many. We only played, what, two ends? One Sycamore? Can we please draw like a Hala or a Sycamore so I don't have to bench another Pokemon? That'd be greatly appreciated. Even though Metagross is taking such a beating here, it doesn't matter. Played a lot of supporters, so that's something to consider, but that Octillery is just really bad to see him play. I 
All right, what do we draw? Sycamore. All right, good. All right, we can find a max potion here. This would be really life saving. Nope, of course not. Best we can do. We didn't even find choice band either. Rip me. This is not good. Man, this is not good at all, folks. I don't know if we can win this. We whiffed our only choice band that's in the deck right now. Like, we might lose next turn. <sighs> Alright, I guess we have to just Giga Hammer and hope for the best. That's all I can really do. I don't think we can come out on top, though, folks. This game does not look winnable. I don't know, he just needs to find one Lycan Rock and it's over. Okay, he's actually bringing it in. He's definitely got the win then. He just needs one Lycan Rock and it's over. Unless he's slow rolling here, which I hope he isn't. Alright, he has the game. Alright, at least we got 60 coins out of that, so we still won in the end because we still got a bunch of coins. That matchup is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. We actually can get a deck box here, which I think think I already have. I don't even know if I already have the deck box for that. I'll have to check after. That was a bit of an annoying game, I'm not gonna lie. Holding back some salt. That matchup, I don't know how to feel about that. It's just such an aggressive deck, and you're you're kind of too slow. So there's one of your worst matchups, I guess, Lycanroc's Orc, but I don't know how good that deck actually is. Like, I don't think Lycanroc's Orc is really a good deck. I would call it a rogue, but I wouldn't call it... I wouldn't call it top 10 in the format, I don't know. That kind of sucks. We kind of just kind of got steamrolled. We didn't draw very well either for a bit. We tried our best though, but unfortunately we just could not beat the unfortunate matchup that is Lycanroc Zork. Alright, we actually got a really good start for once. Maybe, depending on if we can find like a Lele. I might just retreat and do a Vulpix then. I think we're playing against Garboder. Garb Espeon is kind of scary because Divide. It is Garb, of course it is. Bruh, guard man. Oh, that guard is so dumb. Jokes. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright. Uh, we gotta see if it's Garb Drampa. I think Drampa's our best matchup. The problem with Espeon is Divide GX is super, super bad for us. Because he literally can take out our Pokemon, so I'm really worried about Divide GX. I'm also kind of worried about Psybeam and Psychic. Psybeam forced us to have to find the Sokaleo immediately, which is not good. And. Psychic is also kind of annoying. I think Drampa is our best matchup because Drampa just isn't really going to be effective against us because there's no way he can one shot our Sobolea or Metagross. He's Righteous Edge doesn't phase us, and we one shot him with a Choice Band. We just we'd have to go Sobolea to take out the Espeon. So I'm hoping he's playing Drampa, and he's not playing the Espeon, but he probably is because he benched two Pokemon, which one of those is probably an Eevee. Okay, we got a Lele, which is amazing. Yep, I told you! Oh my god, I knew it was gonna be Espeon. Kill me now. Okay, so... Let's grab... I'm actually gonna grab... I mean, nah, I guess we'll grab Volpix, just in case. He might end me here, looking at how big our hand is. I mean, I hope he doesn't. Because we have the Sobaleo for next turn, which is good. Gotta watch out for the Espeon EX, he might play that too. But Espeon GX is a huge threat right now. Gotta be careful how many items we play. Gets rid of a Band and a Rod for an Orangaroo. I mean, if he doesn't hit an Energy this turn, that could be good. I hope he doesn't end me though, just because his hand is pretty dang good. Because we have that turn 2 Sogaleo pressure. We have Guzma too. We can take out his Espeon. He doesn't. Good. I'm tempted to put down this Altar of the Sun now, just in case he ends me, but he might play Po Town. And Po Town kind of puts some pressure on us, so I think I'm still going to put it in play regardless. Just, I don't know if he ends me here, but what we can do next turn is we can we can Guzma, knock out an Espeon, or a, uh, whatever they're called. I'm going to put one energy 
on Beldung, so we don't have much energy in the deck. But yeah, I'm going to Guzma knock out that EV so we can avoid that Divide GX. I'm just going to spread out the energy a little bit. Just put one on Beldum just in case something happens this turn. But at least he whipped the energy, which is nice. We've only played, what, one item, so Garbodor is not doing any damage to us. He'd have to fight a Choice Ban just to put damage on my Medic, on my Sobaleo. I want to put an Espeon down just so we can bait the Guzma play. He's going to end me, rip. Alright, we can still find Guzma or even a Tapu Lele, which would be good. Right, it'd be good to get a Metagross or a Matang down this turn, too. That would be pretty ideal. Okay, that's not bad. I really wish we had the Guzma, though, but if we can get that many Matangs and Metagross in play, we don't really have to worry about Divide. Well, we gotta watch out for Garbotoxin. Forgot about Garbotoxin. Maybe we should... Oh, it doesn't matter if we target Trubbish. Oh, he's putting Trash Lynch down. That's fine. At least it's not a... Uh, what's it gonna call it? It's not Garbotoxin. That's actually pretty good. Um... Oh, really? That's the last thing I wanted to draw. Okay, we have an energy in the discard, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take him out with Metagross here. This way we keep our Solgaleo for later. I'm actually going to hold on to this hand just for a moment. I really don't want to lose that Max Potion. I don't want to play too many items here, so I'm just going to do this, knock out this thing, and we now don't worry about a Trubbish next turn. And we can find either Ultra Ball or Guzma, that'd be great. Max Potions. Bro, are you serious? I'm not trying to lose both my Max Potions. Please end me, good sir. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, I hope we get end, because yeah, there ain't no way I'm playing this Sycamore. Max Potion is huge in this matchup, considering there's no way he can one-shot me with Espeon or Drampa or Garb. For the most part, Max Potion is important. Yes, he's enemy. Okay. Thank the lord. Now it would be really good if we could find Guzma to take out that Espeon EX. Alright, Lele for Guzma works. We even got another Metagross down, and we can prevent that Potown, which is good. Let's see what he puts an energy on. I don't think... I mean, we've played two items, so he's doing 20 damage. He's obviously probably going to incentivize building up something else. He's probably going to build up... Nope, he's building up Trampa. Interesting. Okay, well, we're taking out Soul, so we're not going to knock him out with Metagross, which is good. I was kind of worried... 170, so we can get knocked out next turn. Hey, field board. Probably the last card I want to play right now. I'm not going to play it. I might, just in case he ends me to 3 here, I don't want to play it. Um, because obviously I do need it for Garbotoxin. Garbotoxin will shut down my Metagross, and I don't like that. So we're going to drop Tapu Lele, and we are in fact going to Guzma. I mean, we could also just knock him out with Sogaleo. But then we get Side Beam, because we can always knock out Drampa with Metagross with a Choice Band. And Side Beam kind of makes it awkward. If we had Double Soul, I wouldn't mind this. But I think it's best just to take out this Espeon. Just, I don't know. Divide could be scary, especially if he plays everyone's favorite card known as um, Espeon EX. So we might as well just knock him out here. And we can always just finish this off with a thing. We can probably knock it out next turn if we can find energy. There it is. There's another Cosmog, which is even better. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we're in the clear here. This game's going a lot better than that Zoar Glycanrock game, I'll say that. Uh, we will see Ultra Ball. I'm assuming he's going to grab another Trubbish. He's probably trying to get this Garbotoxin down. But again, this is why I'm not going to play Sycamore. I'm just going to keep my Field Blower. Like, this is, like, Field Blower's going to be a game changer here. He's going to goose my me. It looks like he will take out my Metagross. Maybe. He would need an energy, too. Before he whiffs Kappa. Mm, did he actually whiff? Oh my god, he did. That is so sad. I feel so bad for you. Not really, Kappa. Alright, we'll take him out with Sunsteel Strike, then. That is fine by me. He has a big hand. We can't find N, so let's rip. Yeah, I don't mind this. The fact that he whiffed is so funny, though. <laughs> I feel bad. Not really. That's what you get for playing Grand Dragon Caparas. All right, so we will knock him out with the good old Sunsteel Strike. You can see this combo, man. It's so good. When this deck sets up, it can be really hard to stop. Like, how, how do you deal with these big HP monsters? So, we'll take him out. I was considering Max Potioning this Metagross just to get rid of it, but no, it's whatever. I might need it in case he ends me, but we're in a good spot. We can win the game with Giga Hammer next turn. There's a Hala, another draw supporter. 
And even if he Garbotoxins me, it doesn't matter because we already have our Metagross built up to KO him. Only thing he can really do is maybe de-evolve me. Because we candied into that. So he could de-evolve me here. That would be kind of interesting. I mean, he could side beam me, but it doesn't matter. We got a Ultra Road. We can potentially get double Sogaleo to play next turn. Alright, so he's gonna go probably for the thing. He's doubling up on the float, so I guess he's Sycamore, or else he wouldn't have done that, because he probably wants to keep his tools around for if I field blow him, but I'm probably gonna win next turn, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was right, he was Sycamore, and he dumped a bunch of Sycamores. It's interesting. Even if he Garbo Toxins me. We have Field Blower, he didn't enemy. There's Espeon, but he already attached, so I don't gotta worry about that this turn. This is really good. So I think we're good to win the game here, unless he brings in... Maybe... Best case is to bring in the Espeon here. Nope. Okay, I guess that's game then. Hmm. Hey, I think if he brought this in, that would have been interesting. It would have forced me to have to find energy. But nope, looks like we can just take him out, Giga Hammer, and win the game. And I think that will wrap up today's video. The Lycan Rock Zork game, you can kind of see the struggle of this deck. It can be kind of hard to build up, especially against a deck that aggressive. It's, you know, it's kind of tricky. I think we showed out the deck pretty nicely here against Drampa Garb. One of our better matchups, depending on how the Espeon's Divide works and stuff like that. He did have a few turns where he, where he didn't hit energy, which is kind of nice. But overall, that was pretty fun. I really like this deck. Maybe I'm considering dumping one of these Altar of the Suns. I don't know. Maybe like throw in like another Vulpix. Um, maybe like another Choice Band. Maybe three Choice Band is the way to go. I don't know. It's up to you. I really like this deck though. You can see how you can beat Gardevoir and Drampa Garb. You just might struggle against those kind of rogue decks like Lycan Rock. So work. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDC Joe content. Home in the road to 3,000 subscribers. We will hit it one day. I want to try and hit 3K maybe by March, May, or April, or June of next year. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on another PGCGO video. Have a good day.